Hello, folks. Welcome to the show, Jack Shaw on East West Show with G and E TV.、Uh, once a year, and once we reach into December, it is a moment. It is a month of everything. Everything good. Everything positive. Anyway, if it is not that positive, we make it positive. How about that? Even in a bad economy, we never stopped one year in doing the recovery. Of coverage of、uh, Rose Parade in Pasadena, me personally, when I came over first time, it was about 30 years ago. I went to the Rose Parade. I was so amazed. I was so amazed. That hours and hours after the parade was over, I was wandering on the Boulevard, Colorado Boulevard, trying to pick up the the the, the, the feelings that I I got. And from then on, it was 16 years in a row. I kept on going. It's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. I held it until my second son was born, which dragged me away from having lots of free times. So then, now we are talking about in a month、uh, for compactly doing the preparation. Of course, it's a year-long operation, but during the month of December, it is a compact way of for preparation. Of the Rose Parade today, we are talking about it. Joining me is a great person, is a big hand in the whole thing. He is Mr. Daniel Thomas. He is the president of the Rotary Club of Pomona, and also he is the representing District of Fifty Three Hundred, right? Yes, sir. All right, good. How about if I give you the microphone to do the thing <laughs> instead of me fumbling, <laughs> waddling around for picking up positions? I will, cause I have what I have a list this long about his positions, right? So you are you are wearing more hats than you can wear. So give my audience something, please.、Um, again, my name is Daniel Thomas, and I am the president of the Pomona Rotary Club. I also represent the Rotary Rose Parade Float Committee. I am、mm. the volunteer coordinator for that because it takes a lot of volunteers to. To put a float together,、mm-hmm. um, I'm also on the Rotary Ethics Initiative, and、um, I'm here to represent Rotarians all over the world and、mm. talk about our our our, our wonderful float,、uh, the programs that we do throughout the world, and you know have a great conversation with you, Jack. Yeah, of course, of course, and that exactly、uh, for the past one week in preparation of this show tonight. I mean, right now, I I'm really、uh, trying to pick up the. Not only the material stuff, but also the spiritual stuff behind it, and the motivation behind it, and the message in it that can be delivered. Right. So, I know in the whole flow thing,、uh, in the parade, you have、uh, how many flows this year? The the float it's the parade itself will probably have. Um, between forty and fifty different floats,、uh-huh. representing a number of different types of companies、right. and corporations.、Mm-hmm. Rotary has a single float,、yeah. and、um, the theme of the entire Rose Parade float、mm-hmm. is dreams come true. Okay, dreams so, come true.、Mm-hmm. And well, so each of the、mm-hmm. the builders and the manufacturers try to come up with designs and,、right. and floats、okay. that will、mm-hmm. will parallel、right. and give、okay. their message across. Yeah, how does your dream come true in terms of Rotary? When your theme's concerned, <laughs> our theme is going to be、um, mm. is we're working towards the eradication of polio,、mm. and Rotary's theme is engage Rotary, change lives, and、right. we want to change the lives of millions of people all over the world by eradicating polio.、Mm. And this year, our theme, our our float,、mm. is a train that is going over a bridge. And as it's just about to get over, we're getting over that bridge. We're getting over that last、mm. little hump towards the eradication of polio. I see. Probably I can use that image for this show. This show being east and west, we're trying to bridge work, bridge work the whole thing, the whole world, the whole concept of the people making the world one unique family. So against whatever we're facing, we're facing more challenge than troubles among ourselves. Do you think I'm all right? <laughs> oh, I think the、yeah. world is a very challenging、sure. place.、Mm. Um, even towards the eradication of polio, right now,、mm. um, there were、uh, a few、uh, polio vaccinators in、mm. Pakistan that were killed in October. Oh, that's a big thing, right? It's a,、mm. It was a horrible thing.、Um, mm. All they're trying to do is to be able to help people and、mm. eradicate polio, and yet certain cultural barriers, maybe wars,、mm. maybe、um, uh, infrastructure. 
really can can hinder that. There are many there are many problems why you pick up polios. Pick up polio is only endemic right now in about three countries in the world. Back in 1985, polio was was a huge disease. But the Rotary mm. Clubs International has spent over a billion dollars eradicating polio. Ah. To the extent that last year there were less than 250 cases of mm. polio worldwide. Mm. India, Pakistan, Afghanistan were the only places that we've had that, mm. that it's been hard to to um, to eradicate mm -hmm. simply because of the conflicts and the wars and infrastructures and mm -hmm. just you know the the difficulties in getting to those places. I see. Well, that is a very very uh, uh, big move. Not only is the symbolic, but also is really getting into the concrete work, get hands on the problem remaining. So, and I give my both a thumbs up for that, and. Uh, Speaking of the preparation, though, I know you have a big one this year compared to last year. So how long does it take to prepare such a thing? It needs a lot of efforts, right? For the float? Yeah, for the it float. Certainly takes yeah. a, it certainly takes a, 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 it's a year-round process. Yeah, From the time is, we yeah, ended yeah. The, mm. the, the float last year, yeah. we're now thinking about what uh, is the next year's float. Okay. Yeah. We're, mm. we're raising funds mm. um, simply because we want to promote Rotary throughout the world. We want to show mm. what Rotary is doing. And the float, we believe, is a great way to be able to do mm. that. It's an opportunity to reach millions of people with Rotary's message. I see. I see. So we start mm. in January. Mm. We start, again, raising funds to, to, yeah. to build the float because mm. the floats do cost quite a, quite, a, quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of money, right? Mm -hmm. And then we work with a designer, a float mm -hmm. maker. Mm -hmm. There are very few floats now that are self-built. A mm -hmm. majority of the floats mm -hmm. are being built by professional uh, contractors. 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 And uh -huh. uh, we work with a company called Phoenix mm -hmm. Float Decorating Company, and that's all they oh, do. I see. Uh -huh. All they do is build floats. Uh, I see. I see. And so you go to them and say, this is our image, this is the message that we would want mm -hmm. to, to create. They then work with us. They will do the design, the structure, to structure it, right? Yes. And to make it mobile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right, lots of work. You yeah, know? There's, there's a lot of work. And, and floats are of mm -hmm. various sizes. Mm -hmm. So we work with them, and they construct the float mm -hmm. so that it looks almost exactly like the float is going to look going, right. down, the, okay. going down Colorado Boulevard on January uh -huh. 1st. Uh -huh. Then you cover it, and you start covering it with... That's the decoration part. The decorating, decorating part. part. Decorating That's the decorating part. part. And each year, when decoration is concerned, there is a call uh, for volunteers, and a big call. And I believe there is a big, big number of volunteers uh, to go there, right? So are you still taking volunteers this year? This year, I'm, I'm, I'm impacted. Oh yeah, we've mm. already got a, l a number of volunteers. Rotary has mm. a group, two groups called Rotaractors and Interactors. The mm. Interactors are mm. from our local high schools. They're mm. a, they're a service club in the high schools, and I so see. those high schoolers love to decorate floats. Uh huh. All it's right. a fun time for them. Okay. So they sign up probably starting the middle of September. I start mm. opening up our our schedule, and I, I would say by the first part of October. I'm now just almost completely filled. All but right. that's just our float. Mm. There's certainly many other opportunities for people to sure, be able sure, to sure, visit sure, the sure. floats, uh -huh. look at the floats, mm. and decorate other floats. And also, there's a time, uh, time frame. You can't do it too early because flowers can last that's the certain days, right? So you've got to save the most important part, which are the roses. It's a very precise moment, right? That how, is how, true. How much is the calculation? Calculation is so strict. Very, very strict in terms of how it's going to happen. Uh -huh. For example, um, the first few weekends in December, uh -huh. we actually start doing the dry items on the floats. Uh -huh. So okay. everything does have to be mm. organic on the mm. floats, but they don't necessarily have to be alive. All right. Okay. So you take a lot of straw flowers, mm -hmm. and you might cut off all the the stems and the petals, yeah, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, end yeah. up with the colorful mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. And that you may glue on. You may use seaweed. I see. To uh -huh. um, wrap things around and to give different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, you may use beans. Obviously, beans could last a mm, long forever, time, forever. Uh -huh. So you could take lima beans, and and that would be part exactly. of your even coffee your beans. Decoration. Coffee beans. <laughs> even coffee beans. You right. could do, and and uh -huh. you could even do ground up coffee. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you like the color oh, and yeah, the texture yeah, 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 of the yeah, coffee yeah. Uh -huh. itself, uh -huh. not only the beans as a whole, yeah. uh -huh. 
Mm. But you could grind them up. Sure, sure, sure. And put them do on. A, do an area, the whole ex area, ex right? Exactly. Uh, uh, and then when it comes to down to live flowers, what we, what is the, uh, well, I'm not th thinking out into the secrecy <laughs> about it, but I need to know something. I believe my audience need to know, what is the exact time frame for live flowers to be put on? Starting December 26th, we then run two shifts a day uh, all the way through the 31st. I see, I see. So you have about a week where you're starting to put on some uh, of the, some of, more of the live flowers. Yeah. Some of the flowers are going to last longer. Mm -hmm. Other flowers then, for example, the roses, the roses generally go on the last thing simply because uh -huh. they cover where all the people are walking. I see. So if I'm working on the float, I've mm -hmm. got to have a place to walk and stand. I see. Once I'm done with the interior of the float, uh -huh. now I'm working on putting where I was walking and working and covering mm -hmm. those. So the roses get cut, they get put into vials with a little bit of water, mm -hmm. and then they get stuck right into the float. All right, okay, there's lots of challenge, of course, and it takes lots of people's efforts. What for? just for the message to be delivered. One message is a very positive message for you, how to live your life, how we can care about each other. That's, that's down to the bottom line, all right? So let's take a very short moment now. When we come back, we'll find out what other challenges are there involved in the delivery of the message of such a big, big, big project. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Hello, my dear folks. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow, in the huge discussion about Rose Parade. Uh, yes, I am a Rose Parade lover myself, and I believe lots of you are. All the millions of the folks in Southern California, people, well, probably kind of uh, taking their luggages over there <laughs> to stay there overnight. And then there, there, there was one time they started doing cooking, uh, started cooking by the curb. So, you know, it is kind of a, and they, as time goes by, it is a landmark of uh, Southern California. Mm -hmm. And it's a tradition of United States taken by foreigners, right? So each year this time, people fly from Europe, from uh, anywhere to come here to just watch, to share the moment. Okay, now. With me is the big man behind the whole thing, at least behind one big float. That is Mr. Daniel Thomas. He is the president of uh, Rotary Club of Pomona, and he is also belonging to the 5300 district. And uh, well, uh, we're talking about there are challenges, all kinds of challenges in putting together such a big float. So. We were down to the point about roses, right? Talking about roses, you talking about a window, time window, like within a, within a week. Mm -hmm. And even within a week, there are different windows, smaller windows cut for certain flowers. Absolutely. Am I right? Absolutely. Oh. You have a wide range of roses. So you have a different um, colors mm -hmm. of roses, uh -huh. different types and styles of roses. And so those are all being prepped. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine the, the, the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of roses yeah. that are going to get you know, used to cover these massive floats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. they all get put into, into little vials. So there's a process of putting them into vials mm -hmm. and then putting them on pallets so that those pallets then will go into the float decorating building. Uh -huh. So the people will then take those roses off of those pallets mm -hmm. and then literally just start pushing them into the, mm. the foam, so mm. to speak, that covers each of these floats. All right, all right. So you've got to make sure that you have the exact color that you want. Yes, yes, The yes. exact style. And the stem has to be, the stem has the to be cut, cut to, to the right length, right? Absolutely. You don't want one protruding out. <laughs> you can't have it sticking out, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's got to be stuck in a vial. The vial mm. itself then can't crack, because mm. otherwise the water will the fall water out. The water will, 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 yeah, yeah. fall out, and you won't have a beautiful float going down yeah, you know, exactly, Colorado exactly. Boulevard on, on the first. And also, Daniel, there's a very important thing about the weather. 
the temperature, so to speak, right? I recall many, many years ago, there was a, all of a sudden something, a cold frown that rushes in and roses are frozen. Mm -hmm. And that, well, that is, well, specifically one afternoon, I think, mm -hmm. there is a call for roses and an emergency call for roses, right? Yeah. How about that kind of a situation? It's, the, the weather is a very unpredictable issue. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. you have, for example, if it's too hot, from December 26th through the, the 31st. If it's mm -hmm. too warm in Los mm -hmm. Angeles, you can't put any of the live flowers on simply because they'll die so much faster. Uh -huh, I see. If it's raining, just think of the, the heaviness oh, and yeah, the yeah. weight that will uh -huh, be added uh -huh. to all of these and floats. And the color, color migration. The colors <laughs> may, may run a little <laughs> they bit. They will run each other. Right. You know, because you now have the dry colors yeah, that are on there and then the water is running through those. Yes, um, yes. Uh, if it gets very cold, what you would really prefer mm. is you want a nice cool day. Uh -huh. You want a nice cool day. And dry. Dry. Mm. So that in the morning as the flowers are going down Colorado mm -hmm. Boulevard, mm -hmm. as it starts to warm up, you'll see then the roses open. Ah, you'll see all I of the see. beauty of I those, of those, see, uh, of those flowers come to light. So sure, you sure. then have mm -hmm. a much prettier parade. And it's better for, better for those of us that are on the, mm -hmm. on the street watching it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. If it's raining. Of course, yeah. Of course, have yeah. you been to the float on, in, in the oh, rain? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. it's better for those of us that are watching it. We mm -hmm. don't mind bundling up because we're, mm -hmm. we're used to that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if, it, if it's raining, it can certainly be, mm -hmm. be difficult for the yeah, flowers sure, and sure, for sure. the people. And uh, uh, for that tradition to, uh, to be kept on for over a hundred years, it really, 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 that's uh, not an easy job. Mm -hmm. As you can see them, see the people, not even the people behind the, behind the whole thing, but to see the people standing on the floors, though. Mm -hmm. They're in bikinis sometimes, <laughs> right? I've seen a few bikinis. Yeah, we don't, they're in bikinis sometimes, right? We mm -hmm. don't have very many bikini-clad people mm -hmm. on the Rotary float. Uh -huh. uh, we generally have the Rotary mm -hmm. International President. Uh -huh. um, this year, we will have the eldest child of Jonas Salk, who developed the polio vaccine, mm -hmm. will also be on, the, on our float. And we then also have had many different types of people throughout the years mm -hmm. walking with our float. Um, last year, we, we brought people from an international service, uh. from those that we worked with internationally. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we talk about the youth in Rotary. I see. And we have So them. you're talking about on this very float. On this very right float. Right behind us, yeah. right? Yeah. Every, uh, every year, the people I that see. are sitting on it, the people uh, that are walking around it, usually represent the various programs that we I don't do. see much space well, for, for seating though. How many people are going to put it on? Generally, our float will have anywhere between eight and ten people sitting on it All or right, riding okay. on uh, it. And then we can have, you know, anywhere between six and ten out walkers, what we call them. All right, okay. So our float's not a massive float, but you could get some of those other mm. floats where you have just amazing designs where they will have people, mm. you know, uh, swinging, they will have people yeah, yeah, diving. Uh, and those types of things. So those floats can get, get huge and have a lot of people on them. But the rotary parade, mm. the rotary float is, yeah. is, is a it small all depends one. On, it all depends on the theme, what you're talking about. Correct. Yeah, you're talking about a swimming pool or maybe doing mm. like a, a theme park or mm -hmm. something. Right. That's a different story. But for this polio thing, though, this polio that's, really, that's really a, a very specific point that you're touching at. Mm -hmm. We're really talking about the eradication of polio, and mm -hmm. there is a new, um, there's a website called End Polio, and we're looking to, we're this close as those ads have seen um, mm -hmm. towards the eradication of polio. And in our, our, mm -hmm. our, our train that is going over the bridge, mm -hmm. that's what we're hoping to do. We're hoping that within the next few years that mm -hmm. we'll be able to eradicate polio from... from um, is the train polio. mobile or fixed? I'm sorry? Is the train, is the train mobile? The train is fixed. It's yeah, fixed, right? It's, fixed. it's, it's fixed not going to move. Yeah. The, it's, even it's, though it looks like moving. Even though it looks like it could be moving, <laughs> ah, it's not going to be moving. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, it is moving down Colorado Boulevard. Oh, uh, yeah, it and, is. Absolutely. People that. will enjoy yeah. that. Mm. So, to positions, though, with two positions, which position are yours? You know, I don't know the position that, that, mm -hmm. that we have this year. Mm -hmm. Every year, the diff various floats rotate throughout the uh -huh. parade. So if you were in the front of the float last year... Mm -hmm. They, don't, they don't go by alphabetical order. It's they? not by alphabetical no, order. Uh, uh -huh. So if many of the floats are from the same groups every year. 
Uh -huh. And so if you were in the front of the parade last year, you may then be in the back of the parade this year. If you're in the back of the parade, you may be in the oh, middle. They so rotate. every year they rotate the they various rotate. locations yeah, yeah. Oh. so that everybody has an opportunity to mm. be towards the front, um, to be able to, to, to be a, a premier float sure, sure, you know, sure. at the very beginning. Because mm. it's a long parade. Will you be on it, Chris? I'm. I will not be on the on the, ah, on the, on the float. Okay. Yeah. I'm How not about my friend Lou? <clears throat> Lou Arredondo will not be on the float. Oh, she will this not year. be. Unless she, you know, unless she somebody sponsors uh -huh. her, that, that that could be a possible. Oh, if you happen to need a show host on the song, on the float, to ask me. Uh, I will. <laughs> I will certainly keep you in mind, Jack. If we need Very somebody good. to represent, sure, sure. we will. We will uh, count on you. All right. Good. Good. Back to my audience. The Rose Parade is really a. Uh, I call it a, a landmark. It is a landmark event that explains the uh, depicts the American spirit. There was a nonstop on the year-to-year -year basis, and also it is a the best way. It is the only way, best way, to showcase the American discipline. There was one time I was there um, among the sixty years that I kept on going in a row, right. A baby was born. Do you recall that story? I do not. You do not? No. All right, all right. So on learning that Kate, the, the, the emergency, the urgency though, uh, some, 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 some girls, ladies, just formed a circle and uh, they spread out their blanket or whatever um, to make the circle warm. Men turned back facing out to hold with the environment. And meanwhile, they were talking, they, they called 911, helicopter going there, there, drops down, and then she's lifted up, and the baby was born. Wow. And there's the crowd were so much in order. Mm -hmm. So much in order. Nobody pushes anybody. Mm -hmm. And especially at that very moment, the people seem to be very, very, very disciplined. Mm -hmm. On learning that, and I was on that, not on the very spot of the circle, whatever. I was on the event that very day. Mm -hmm. That very day. I even wrote, the, I wrote an article about it. Hmm. I was touched to tears about the discipline of our people. Mm -hmm. So that is it. That is it. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is a great parade. Mm -hmm. You have about 750,000 people mm -hmm. that line the five miles yeah, yeah, of the yeah. parade route. Five and a half. Five and a half miles. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And so you have a lot of people there. Now, back 30 years ago, we were able to bring our couches and our mm -hmm. and stuff onto the on the parade road. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't do that anymore. Okay, um, anymore can't right. can't do uh, that anymore. We used to have the hibachis and you know keep mm -hmm. ourselves yeah. warm. And they used to sell their roof spaces. <laughs> People still do that. They still do that. They, okay. They'll still sell roof uh -huh. spaces. They'll uh -huh. still have RVs. Will park along the parade route. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. People will spend, as mm -hmm. you said, they'll come from all over the world all right. okay. to sit and watch mm -hmm. and to enjoy the parade. Mm -hmm. Um, and you have a lot of grandstands, so people mm -hmm. can certainly purchase tickets for the grandstands. But it starts on, mm -hmm. on um, Orange Grove, goes all the way down Colorado, mm -hmm. and you know, five and a half miles later. And the parking is the problem. The parking is the problem. Parking is always a problem. Even though you have a grandstand, the ticket, you have to park like a miles away. <laughs> There's a lot of, but but it's lots of fun doing it. Lots it's a lot of fun doing it. It's a lot of fun. Doing Nobody it. complains anything about it. There's lots of fun doing it. V yeah. Very few. I mean, many mm. people have done this for many many years. As mm. you've indicated, it is a tradition in Los it's Angeles. It's a tradition. Yeah. My daughters and I have gone many many years in a row. Oh yeah. We go to a specific location. We sure. go to the corner of Lake and Orange Grove. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry, Lake and Colorado, and we sit uh, there uh -huh. and we kind of figure out what time we're going to get mm. there. Because the parade, although it may start at 8 o'clock, mm. by the time you walk five and a half miles, the beginning of the parade might not get to the end of the parade oh, yes. until mm. 10, 10 o'clock or later. And, and also, if you catch the early part, and the performers, the people are in higher spirit, <laughs> rather than <laughs> they're very saggy towards the end, right? And that's why people are yelling, hey, keep on, well, put it up, keep it up, only five and a half miles to go. <laughs> that is Something true. Something like that, right? Okay. I mean, if you, especially mm. when they have a lot of the bands. So yes. if you're in the bands mm. and you are carrying the tuba, a very uh -huh. large instrument. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine especially, carrying that for, for five miles especially. or playing for five mm -hmm. miles. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people 
a lot of energy in the beginning, and as the yeah, yeah, as the performers yeah. start to fade a little mm -hmm. bit, well, they the audience exactly. brings them up, exactly. encourages exactly. them, going, exactly. "Hey, you can do it." And and you know, you sometimes you 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 are touched by the audience by how kind they are. Back to my audience. So let's take a very short moment uh, out. When we come back, we'll find out. You know what? If you you talk about the Rose Parade. If you really want to dig into it, you can see lots of things. You can get lots of answers to your questions. Believe me. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, my dear friends, dear folks, ladies and gentlemen, dear Southern Californians, welcome back to the show, Jack Chow on East West with the GNE TV talking about Rose Parade. It is something that I like so much. It is something that I take it as a landmark of uh, the nation, as a landmark of our spirit, of what we believe in. Okay. Now you were talking about the bands, right? Mm -hmm. And I, every time I see the band, I get kind of inspired. I wish I could play with them. Uh, by the way, I play trumpet, or I do that too. I wish I can play with them, right? And also, if you look into the band, there are kids on wheelchair, mm -hmm. right? You put a guy behind the wheelchair to pull the wheelchair to let him play. And that gives the eye a very kind of, you know, breaks the line. That mm -hmm. breaks the line, of course, right? Mm -hmm. That breaks alignment, all the alignment, all everything. But to the eye, to the, to the picture, what do you see? You see people helping each other. All right. You see equality. You see equality. You see those that are, mm -hmm. are helping another person reach their dreams. Yes. You see mm -hmm. bands coming from all over the United States. In fact, all over the world. Mm -hmm. You may have 20 or 30 bands during the parade. And yeah. they come from all over. And they look beautiful mm -hmm. in, their, in their dress, their uniforms. Yes, yes, yes. Their, yes, uh, their uh, instruments are polished. Uh, 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 and, and for the beauty of it, they put a, some wheelchair in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think this purposely do it, but it so happens that person has to be on wheelchair, right? Mm -hmm. And let the beauty to be a little perfect, a little less perfect. Mm -hmm. But you know, as a result, it's even more perfect. I think it's even more beautiful when yeah. you have a, a yeah, high schooler exactly. that, you know, they exactly. may be a mus exactly. musical genius, exactly. but maybe they are unable to be mobile. Mm -hmm. So one of exactly. their friends yes. is going to push yes. them down yes. the parade yes. so that they can have the opportunity to make beautiful music as they go down the parade. Uh -huh. And every time I see that, I, I'm touched. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced about the why we're strong, because we're helping each other. Mm -hmm. To go back to your theme, you said in the very beginning about a theme, dream become true, right? Mm -hmm. Question is, why do dreams become true? Why? This is the answer. Mm -hmm. At least one of the answers. <laughs> Dreams come true because there are a lot of volunteers all mm, over the world. Yeah, yeah, With yeah. With the Rotary yeah. um, mm. Clubs, we have 1.2 million members in over 200 countries all over the world. All right. And we're there to, to help people with all of the problems that we have. Mm. Um, many of our projects include, as we've talked about, the eradication of polio. Mm. But we're also very keen about creating um, clean water initiatives all over the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our, our programs have included um, building water wells in, mm. in Africa, in mm. the Philippines, mm -hmm. in India, all over the world, mm. Rotary wants to touch lives. And we're helping those dreams come true mm -hmm. by creating these different projects. We will partner up with Rotary Clubs in India. For example, one of our most recent projects is mm. we partnered up with a, a club in India to create a mobile hearing station that could go around the country uh -huh. and help people find I out how see. their hearing is. All with their hearing aids. All yeah. helping them with those types of things. And so that is one of the programs. Mm. We're currently working mm. with One Drop, which is Cirque du Soleil's um, um, philanthropic organization mm, to, philanthropic, create an, yes. mm. to, to create an entire uh, water system for the, mm. the country of Burkina Faso, one of the poorest countries in the world. So mm. we all make dreams come true when we help volunteer with different organizations. That's exactly uh, the fact of uh, the history. 
ever since the World Trade was put up. For, uh, for the reputation of World Trade, I believe everybody is convinced for what you, what you guys do. Mm -hmm. uh, like say you mentioned water, right? You mentioned people's hearing. To answer the question why dream come to, because there are people like rotors, like mm -hmm. rotaries, right? I call it a rotary netherlands. How do you Rotarians. call it? Uh, Rotarians. Rotarians. Oh yeah, I was. I will try to make. I'll try to create <laughs> my own. Create my own t uh, noun form. Rotar Rotarians, right? Mm -hmm. So because there are Rotarians, mm -hmm. I give a thumbs up for that. And there, are, uh, there was a few days ago, uh, I was on a show talking about this uh, society as being sick because we do not care each other as we used to. Because we have a, 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 a kind of a bigger competition to run into, so we we'll let the vulnerables take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So road rate does the con contrary. We, we, we want to be there to help people. We want to be able to help people from, you know, not only our local people, for example, my club is in Pomona, we want to help people in Pomona, but we want to help people all over the world. And the Rose Parade is a great way to be able to, for organizations to show that. There are a lot of charitable organizations that have floats in the parade. You have the Kiwanis, you have the Lions, you have... Um, uh, the Rotary Clubs. So you have a lot of organizations that are there to be able to help the promote their messages mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. be able to share all the good that is happening. Mm -hmm. For 125 years, the parade has been going down Colorado Boulevard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rotary has been part of it for 35 years. Uh huh. And it's a great way to get the message out that yes, we may be Glorious a sickly society, yeah. but mm -hmm. we can certainly have those times where we can mm -hmm. help one another and we can help others because it's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And the way I see the difference between Rotary, uh, correct me if I'm wrong though, if I'm wrong. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, the difference between Rotary and the other charity organization is that Rotary does not only uh, include the charity organization or activities. It includes the philanthropics, Ab right? Absolutely. Right. So when you put efforts together for people to donate money, that's one thing. Here you have a big guy getting your involvement, like say uh, Bill Gates, mm -hmm. right? Oh, here's the twenty billion, something mm -hmm. like that. That's the other. So Rotary is kind of putting them together, all right? Rotary. Am I right? Rotary is being able to put a lot of organizations together that haven't been yeah, able yeah, to put yeah. together before. I am right. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. In fact, right now we're in a program with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh -huh. so that every dollar that we promote towards the eradication of polio, Bill and Melinda Gates will donate to. Match. Oh, match. Twice. Twice the, twice the amount. Ma match twice. So when, four, when, oh, when, um, mm. when the Rotary donates, you know, a hundred million dollars, mm -hmm. we're going to get another two, another two. Uh -huh. from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to be able to, to work on the eradication uh -huh. of polio. And that's exactly what I say, that the, you have not only the charity organization, you have the philanthropic activities you love. Right? It's, it's great. And the other mm -hmm. nice thing about it is that Rotarians are volunteers. So mm -hmm. the money that comes in isn't coming to us. It's going directly out to be able to help those programs. Mm -hmm. You know, there there may be charities that mm -hmm. take the money and then mm -hmm. a lot of overhead. There's yeah. not a lot of you're, overhead. You're a basket. You're you're a canal, mm -hmm. right? And let the money go to the needy people. We're we're the funnel. Well, you're the network. Yeah. Network. We're right? the network. Okay, very good. All right. So what a word, network. I like that. So back to my audiences. Today, these people. Uh, well, I, I I don't know. I live. I try to live a different life because I want to keep asking me myself, what have you done to the society? What have you done to others? Remember, if you recall about my Thanksgiving show, I said Thanksgiving is the moment to ask you what you have done to any, anybody else and others, rather than, oh my God, I live a dog life, something like that, no more complaints. All right, anyway, let's take a short moment out. When we come back, we continue to find more about the worldwide operation. So stay with us.
Hello, folks. Welcome back to the show. Jack Chow, feeling the proud sitting here, be a show host, getting the chance to talk about important issues, especially meeting important people. Daniel Thomas is a good friend, and I believe he's not a good friend to me only. He's a friend to everybody who is in need. He's the president of、uh, Pomona Rotary Club. Not only that, he is the representative of the 5300 district. You know, Daniel, the word "fifty-three" really catches my eye. <laughs> you are talking some organization. You say district number one, district number two, or district number twenty-five, something like that, right?、Mm -hmm. When the number goes to four digits, though, you really get confusing. Oh my God, how big is it? <laughs> Rotary is a big organization. Yeah, we have 1.2 million members and 200. 1.2 million members from over 200 countries and areas around the world.、Uh, then almost covering every country. It covers a it covers a lot. And、mm -hmm. one of the things that we want to be able to do with Rotary is promote peace, peace through understandings, peace through being able to to、uh, dissolve conflicts. And、mm -hmm. one of the ways that you dissolve conflicts is by being able to provide some of the necessities that the people need.、Mm -hmm. If all the people have water, well, then they're not going to be fighting over the water. All right. If they have the medical attention that they need, they're not going to be able to.、Mm -hmm. They're not going to need to fight over the、Good、medical、point. attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, being able to help people around the world, Rotary's peace、mm -hmm. initiatives have really gone a long ways. I see. We just recently started opening up some Rotary clubs in Armenia. Mm -hmm. And there was a natural.、Uh, there is a lot of tension sometimes between Armenia and Turkey. We、mm -hmm. created a peace initiative where we brought the presidents of the Armenian Rotary Clubs and、mm -hmm. the presidents of the Turkey Rotary Club together, so that we might be able to, you know, resolve some of those tensions.、Mm -hmm. Maybe not between country and country, but certainly between people. In other words, you look at the people from a humanitarian point of view, rather than political or territorial point of view. We don't want to be a political organization.、No. We want to be an organization that is there to help people. Exactly.、Mm -hmm. Wh whatever the political structure is, that's not our concern. Our、mm -hmm. concern is how are your people? Can we provide them with water? Can we provide them with yeah, medical yeah, yeah, assistance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we help eradicate polio?、Uh -huh. Whether there's tension. Let them be Hun Hungarians. Let them be Algerians, right? It, it doesn't. Let them be what whatever. That name sounds sound a little funny,、mm -hmm. right? So they are people. They're they're people. Yeah, they're people. They're、And、your targeted targeted audience to be helping, right? They're they're people that need to be helped. Yeah, you yeah. have the,、mm -hmm. the 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 tragedy that has occurred just recently in、mm -hmm. the Philippines.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Rotary、exactly. clubs locally、mm -hmm. are getting supplies together. They're、mm -hmm. getting funds together、mm -hmm. to be able to help rebuild the the company the 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 programs that are、All、in、right. in the Philippines.、Mm -hmm. You have the city of Tacloban, the city of Bantayan. Yeah, yeah. You have Rotarians there,、oh, oh. and we're now going to be starting to partner up with them、mm. and saying, "What do you need?" So when the Rotarians are concerned all all over the world, they are all kind of volunteers. They're all volunteers. All volunteers. We're all volunteers. We are business people. We are homemakers. We Is are there、artists. any paid position, something like that? There are paid positions, probably at the corporate office.、Uh -huh. but I don't have a lot of knowledge about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people that I know、mm -hmm. were volunteers. But you are not paid. No. Being a president. No, not at all. All right. In fact, it's <laughs> it's probably going to cost me things. You're president of the free land. <laughs> I'm free land. I'm、right? yeah. I'm、okay. doing these things out of because I want to be able to help people. You can joke about it. You can laugh about it. But it is a serious matter. Check with yourself for yourself to donate this much of your time of your efforts. To do something which, for、uh, I mean, which brings you nothing back, right?、Mm -hmm. At a time in the society when everybody is talking about money, so you really be, well, well, you be something thinking differently, right? At least, at if, least. Yeah. If people want to get involved in Rotary, they can go to Rotary dot org.、Mm -hmm. They can see all of the clubs. They can find out what clubs may be close to them,、mm -hmm. whether here, whether overseas. China.、Uh -huh. It doesn't matter where. There Just are clubs www everywhere. Just www.rotary.org. Org. All right. Okay. So I believe you remember that、uh, address, and I believe you can see on the、uh, big screen also. So give it check up. Check check it up. And also, and I really have to、uh, to answer my to face my audience. I believe my audience is interested more. 
uh, in the the float itself, rather than the theoretical discussion about sure. go. We seem to go long, go on and on and on, but it's good. I enjoy it, mm -hmm. right? Okay, to the float though. If my my if my audience want to be a volunteer mm -hmm. at the decoration, uh, what's the contact? They could go to Tournament of Roses, mm -hmm. um, I believe tournamentofroses.org. They could go to Rotary, Rotary Rose Parade Float uh -huh. um, and, and look up that website. We have our own websites, but there's a lot of different ways that people can volunteer All right. because there are a lot of different organizations. Uh -huh. so and uh, they can call you there, a number they can call what? I am unaware of any phone number that they can call, but they can mm -hmm. certainly um, look up on the website in regards to where they can decorate the um, decorate the floats. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different organizations that do it. Uh, Phoenix Float Decorating Company is one. Mm -hmm. um, the Tournament of Roses also lets people know they, because they're all being built by different people, different mm -hmm. companies, those companies then will all sign up their own, sure. their own decorators. If somebody wants to donate flowers, how about that? I've never been asked that question before. Okay, I have a bunch of friends who are running flower shops and they were kind of saying that if I want to donate some flowers, well, well, how do I uh, contact, well, 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 how do I approach? You could probably find out through the Tournament of Roses which organizations are building the flowers or building the floats. Mm -hmm. For example, several cities build their own, mm -hmm. their own floats. They mm -hmm. don't have the funds to be able to go outside. Uh -huh. So those cities, I'm sure, would be able to want to take it. Rotary, we use the Phoenix Float Decorating Company. I'm sure they'd be willing to be able to take flowers. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah Because yeah, the flowers, yeah. though, are also been um, planned out. We know what's going to be on our float, so yeah, we yeah, know yeah. the types of flowers uh -huh, that we need. Uh -huh. So there may be only a need of certain flowers. Yeah, or you, certain you know needs. already in advance what to expect, right? Exactly. And on a day by day basis, especially entering the, 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 the last seven days of the week, right? Right. Mm. We can't necessarily count on people to uh -huh. donate those flowers. We have to go out and oh, buy yeah, the flowers yeah, yeah. Yeah. because we know that, for example, this wall of the train, it needs to be covered yellow. So we need to have marigolds. Mm -hmm. Or we know that this is gonna be red, so we need some red straw flowers that mm -hmm. we're gonna cut up. And for the wheels, I'm gonna put some coffee there. We're gonna put some <laughs> coffee on the wheels. And we're gonna put beans in, uh, yeah, in yeah, certain yeah. decorations. Sure, sure. Uh, so all of those things, all of that material is, mm -hmm. is there. And, and we simply you know, go to the vendors that have it and yeah, buy yeah. it. And the reason it I'm asking is that if you happen to be, a, to be, a, to be donating a flower to, uh, to a float and you happen to be at the audience that, uh, standing there mm -hmm. looking at, oh yeah, that's my donation. That was your float. That was, <laughs> yeah. my, that was my flower. That's what my flower, right? There, is yeah. a, there are floats that, that mm -hmm. do have those types of donations. There's a float called Donate Life. Uh-huh, Donate and, Life, yes. And Donate mm -hmm. Life is one of the, uh, the big floats. Exactly. And it's yeah. regards for people that have lost a loved one, mm -hmm. and but they donated um, you know, uh, hearts They're or uh, organs, organs yeah, to organs, those types yeah, of Reusable people. organs, yes. Exactly. So, so a lot of people will actually buy f roses in memory of somebody mm -hmm. to, to go on that float. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And speaking of uh, uh, Donate Life, I was uh, uh, in the show with them for at least three or four times already. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're called One, Leg One Legacy. Their mm -hmm. legacy is really the one that I adore, and so, uh, well, good, 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 good. People, when people put together within uh, within a certain hours, right, and you will find that are very educational, mm -hmm. right. It warms you up, it heats you up, right, about what has been forgotten, what you have need to be reminded about, right. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So today is one of the very, very special day that we have a chance to touch bottom with uh, a, a gentleman so big behind the uh, uh, Rotary Club and also about the Rose Parade. So I do invite you to come check with the Rotary website, which is www.rotary.org. Mm -hmm. right. And also, if you want a donation, do do the donations. You can check with the uh, www tournament of uh, floats. Rotaries would be rotaryfloat.org. Uh, rotaryfloat.org. And that would be able to help us to continue to promote Rotary, mm -hmm. so that we can continue to build our our floats each year. Sure, sure, sure. 
Of course, of course. We can't do what you do, but we've got to say something. I like what you do, and I promote what you do, right? Thank so, you. And this is also the theme of this show. When we put East West together, we want to say, hey, East West, we are people. Mm -hmm. We're people. Why do we put East West together, right? Why do we tell the difference between East and West? There is no difference, right? East West, we're people. Put people it together, people. make your dream come true. Absolutely. Very good. Do dream come true. They dream do. do come true. That's the answer. Absolutely. Through what? Through joint efforts. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching the show, my audiences. And to Mr. Thomas, thank you very, very so much for coming to the show. I know how busy at this moment you are. <laughs> thank you very much for the invitation, Jack. Sure. And I all really right. enjoyed our time together. Sure. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to see your float. I'm, I'm looking forward to, th to being there. Oh, by the way, thank you for the leaking of the, of the uh, premature leaking. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> welcome. Info. You're right. welcome. You're able All to right, see good. that float. And we'll take a peek in it. it. All right, good. Very good. All right. See you next time. Mm -hmm.